Hi guys, it's me, Nana. We're going to have some fun making a mini album today, and we're going to be using the Little Gorgeous Girls in what I say is one of the most fun things I've done in a while. This is a paper pack from Santoro, and they are the creators of Gorgeous Girls. I don't know if you've seen them before, but they are stamps of little girls that has been around for a few years, but it is a company out of the United Kingdom. And the artist is a woman who loves drawing the little girls in uh, the images that she remembers as a child. So there is a lot of background to these uh, little girls and they are a huge hit in the United Kingdom and I think you can see just by looking at the images and the beautiful innocent faces of the girls I just I can't get enough of them I, I collect the stamps both the small and the large and you just can't get enough of gorgeous girls and once you get hooked well that's it so we're gonna make this really easy envelope album now the envelope album is just three uh, three envelopes that's all it takes I'm doing a square one, but you can do it uh, with uh, the, long al al the long envelopes or the regular envelopes. And it's just a matter of taking the first one, inserting the flap into the first one. So you take one envelope, insert the second flap into the first one without going over the line. And as you see, I'm making it straight. Just keep them nice and straight. See how that goes? Leaving a flap in the back for the third envelope. So we have our two envelopes together, nice and straight. And then what happens here is you're going to turn it to where the flap faces to your right, and you're going to connect the third envelope onto the open flap. Now I'm going to do it again just so you can see because sometimes it gets a little bit confusing, but it's so simple. Here we're inside panel one, and I'm cut in this instance, I'm cutting out that little flap. You can leave it if you want, but it kind of got in my way with the first one that I did. So I cut this out. It just makes things a lot easier. So then I'm doing it to both envelopes. And uh, again, you see this is just two. This is the first two envelopes. And when you see this finished product, you're just not going to believe that it's only three envelopes. This is a five and three quarter inch square envelope. The important thing when making these mini albums is staying straight. If you don't stay straight, it won't lay properly. So here I am just gluing closed the first envelope. That will be its own page. But I'm going to leave the second envelope open. Here, I've turned it over and I'm straightening it up, making sure everything's aligned. That's the third envelope and I'm going to attach it at the flap of the first envelope. And you'll, you'll understand once you get, get it together. So now we have them all connected. We have three separate sheets and I'm cutting out the inside panel of the third envelope. I did it twice just so it uh, would uh, not be too confusing. Again, you can have it with the flap or without the flap, but the flap on the back is what will hold it all together. Now here we're just going into the fun part, which is cutting paper. Who doesn't like to cut paper? But you know, since this is my first mini album in a long time, a very long time, I kind of messed up and I'm going to let you see what I did. This should have gone all the way over to the other side of the panel because I'm working on the second panel first. And you see how I found out, oh, I should have gone over. So I just cut out some more and filled it in. And because they all uh, lined up perfectly, you can't even tell that I did it. Now here is the inside of the second flap. And I've created a fold over. You see how it goes up to the top? So it will open and it will add additional space to put tchotchkes in, to put fun things in. And that's all this is about. It's about uh, taking your memories. Maybe you're going on a trip somewhere and you have a lot of things that you don't want to throw away, your tickets, your uh, stubs, whatever it might be. It's kind of like a smash book, but you're making it yourself. 
So here we are, I finished the inside panels, just cut paper, put it down, oh, keep some flaps open, close some if you want to, it's all up to you, there's no rules, you just keep doing what you like to do. And the fun part is once you get all the panels finished, in other words, which ones will be pockets, which ones will be closed, and which ones will be flaps, then the fun, st fun part starts, and that would be the decorating. So we're all ready, we've got our pockets, we've got things uh, straightened out. Now, because this is a pocket I created, as you could see, this is the second envelope, I should have laid out some washi tape across the entire thing, but I didn't. So I kinda just filled it in. There's, as I said, no rules. And here I'm making a kind of um, file, and this is what we're going to put on the first flap and it's going to hold you know whatever you want to make in this case uh, you only go across the back side panel and the bottom panel and then you glue it in place on those areas so the top and the side are open and that way you can just stick things in there and here I'm just cutting out a panel for the very back and we're gonna leave that alone we're not going to put a whole lot of things there and as you can see, I put a little uh, score on that back flap so that it will uh, fold over once this thing starts getting filled. Because once we start putting things in there, it's gonna be not wanting to close. So I'm making or creating a little flap that will help it. And while I'm there, I'm cutting out or fussy cutting a few things I'm going to use as embellishments. No need to waste any of this paper. As a matter of fact, I think I used four sheets of 12 by 12 paper and I didn't waste hardly an inch worth. Everything was used, even down to this little tiny girl who you wouldn't think I'd have anything to do with. And of course we have our little crabs. This is all seaside, you know, a trip to the beach, who knows. So now I'm covering the back flap because you're gonna have to reinforce that to make sure that uh, it'll handle all the opening and closing. I couldn't line it up anymore with the other sheets, but uh, you can't tell. Again, it's one of those things where everything matches anyway, so you can't tell when it doesn't uh, completely line up. So I'm just putting some extra uh, paper onto the flap. Again, that reinforces it, but I don't put it where my score line is. You'll see that there's like a fourth of an inch uh, area that has nothing on it so that it will hold or grow as the album fills. So here we go, it's a quick walk through and back to the decorating. This is going to be a little booklet which is one of the best uh, uh, aspects of a mini album because you have so many fun little places. So I cut it to the length that I wanted it. I'm scoring it in the center and I got a really good bone folder to just press that down. You want everything crisp. You want it to look as professional as possible. So there it is, it's simple, right? Just a fold over and then I got some typing paper, cut it to the same size, I got three sheets folded them over, and then I'm just tying them into this booklet. Now I end up changing this for some blue hemp uh, ribbon. I just didn't think this uh, was, uh, didn't pop enough with all the other colors. So, But I'm showing you close up how it's done. The same thing with the hemp ribbon. You just kind of tie it in there and you have a book. You have a cute little book and we're just putting it in one of the pockets. Now we're gonna make a mini journal and a photo mat. There's your mini journal. And the way I'm gonna turn it into a journal, well, first let's change that flap because I, I realized, no, 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 this is not gonna work. We're gonna go with the same color scheme of that hemp ribbon and just tie that back the way that it was. And the only uh, real rule here is to make sure you leave enough at the beginning so when you end it, you can do the size ribbon that you want. I hate to waste too much, but I also don't like to you know, end up with not enough when it comes time to pay the piper. So you just um, uh, <laughs> you just take the ribbon and you wind it around twice. You create your little bow and you are done. But of course, you're never really done when you want to make something extra special. So we're gonna leave that for just the moment. We have our little uh, file flap. We have our little uh, mini album. And now we're going to create a little um, photo mat. 
I'm going to make it a photo mat and a file as well, somewhere to stick a little uh, special tchotchke, like I said. These are all just uh, opportunities to play with paper and put things in there that you wouldn't normally have anything to do with. Like, I have so many little tiny coins and little tiny receipts that I just don't want to throw away because of a trip that I took and it means something special. Well, this is where you put them and there's all kinds of places where you can journal, where you can just write what it is that you, you have there or your thoughts at the moment. So we're going to kind of, I have this uh, corner chomper, it's from We Are Memory Keepers, and it can do one sheet or it can do 20. It is, it is heavy duty. And here is another paper pack from Santoro. It's one that I've had for a while. It's time to break out the stash. I needed something in the same color scheme, but I didn't want to use the, the beach paper just yet because uh, it wasn't as... Um, filling like I needed paper that had a lot of design to it but I wanted to show you these papers too because once you start looking at the kinds of papers that they have and the beautiful pictures of these little gorgeous dolls you, you just get hooked so anyway on to uh, the job at hand I have my little photo mat slash file I know how long it is and I need my sheets to fit one on each side separate from each other but once it's done, it has to also fit into the pocket that I've already uh, made for it. So we're accommodating the pocket that's already created. And we're just putting the inside lining in. I'm going to corner chomp the ends so that they match uh, where they're going. And one, this one in particular, is going to be uh, created smaller so that I can make that little uh, gap to create the file folder or the holder or pocket. What, whatever word you want to use for it, it's the same thing. So I'm making them match, make sure the sizes are the same up and down, but this one I'm gonna cut just a slice off of, and then I'm gonna get my hole punch and see where that line is, just create a nice little notch so that you can see or grab whatever is inside. There we go, you see how that is? It's like a little passport holder or a little identification holder. It's just, you know, the sky's the limit. We can just keep adding to it take away it's just a lot of fun uh, this is another important aspect of it and that is giving it some depth and some color and so i'm just kind of sh shading in the ends and the edges to um give it a little bit of character now a lot of times people like to use the darker colors but because this is a light and breezy outdoorish kind of um uh, design we're going to stay with that and stay with the blue coloring as far as the shadowing is concerned and there we have just a little pocket make sure you only do the three sides and leave the opening and what i like to do is take a bone folder or something flat and run it through there you go to make sure that you have uh, like a real pocket there and you can only do that before the glue dries once the glue dries you're done but if you're just putting a plain uh, photo mat like the one on the right you can just use uh, tape rather than glue you want to use glue as little as possible because it tends to leave little, leave little bumps everywhere and that kind of uh, ruins the effect and here I have a few cutouts I've had these forever again things in my stash you know you start grabbing things out start using those things that are in your drawers and here I have the matching um, uh, stamp set and this is where it all started stamps and they used to be, they are the, uh, I think they're two and a half inches or two inches, uh, but these are the large stamps, which I just absolutely fell in love with. And this has a whole motif of at the beach. Isn't it wonderful? It's called Little Fishes. That's the name of the set. And it is just something that I, I can't get enough of. I just play with all the time. Sometimes I just look at <laughs> So we're gonna make a little embellishment. We have this little heart. It's a scalloped heart. We put our little, um, uh, crab on it and this is where you know when you get something if you stick with one pattern uh, that you love then you just have all the things you need to uh, match or to accommodate or just be part of so we're going to enhance that mini mini is what i'm calling it it's our mini uh, journal we're going to enhance it with our crab and make it a little um, professional maybe we might say so I'm just going to stamp each sheet with the little crab, the little orange crab. He's just gorgeous. And I'm using kind of a um, 
it's a chalk paint, but it has kind of a metallic uh, sheen to it. So it, it actually gives more pop. It, you can't see it, unfortunately, just by um, uh, on video, but in, in real life, it just gives it that extra nice pop of color. And here I'm just making sure that we have a nice, good opening and you're done. But we're not done, we'll be back. Trust me, you just can't get enough. You keep going back and forth. So we have our sheets stamped and we're gonna put them in our first pocket, but this is a living, breathing organism and it changes as we go along. Nothing stays the same and it doesn't have to. As you go along, you just keep on making, um, let's say enhancements. <laughs> Okay, so I'm corner rounding the uh, flap, giving it a little bit of shading in the blue, and we have some more pattern paper to create a few more um, embellishments and pockets and files. <laughs> and there you see uh, the little blue flap that never was. I thought I would be a little artistic. It didn't work out, so there you have it. It is now a nice little background backdrop to my file holder. And there's never a, a mistake when you're creating something like this. And that's why I left it in. I wanted you to see that sometimes you have an idea and it just doesn't work out. That's okay. We're just making a pocket over it. <laughs> so we just hide it with our little pocket. Again, you see that I just glued the three sides, checking again to make sure that we have a nice opening. We have a little notch there as well. And it's gonna hold this little photo mat again. Another one that we created, one for the front and one for the center. There you go. It's just a lot of fun. I keep thinking I'm gonna be able to put that flap over all the way through, but you know, we know it's not gonna work. So here we're gonna make a mini file like we did on the front. And this is on the bottom half of that top flap just to use the same pattern paper and make sure everything works together. But in this case, we're only doing the two sides, the uh, left side and the bottom. And we're going to create a tag. What is a mini album if it doesn't have a tag? So I have this little piece of extra paper, didn't know what to do with it. And I said, hmm, we're gonna make a tag. So I have all these again in my stash, these little uh, postcards. Uh, they're just little cardboard things that came with a kit and they have postcard written on them. And what better uh, place to use it than on a travel mini album journal. <laughs> And to make it even more fun, we're going to turn it into a tag. So I taped um, the paper on top of the postcard. And now I'm just using my um, sandpaper, sanding it down so that it's all one and uh, putting some shadowing on it. Then we're going to put a little hole on the top with my little hole chomper there. And to keep everything the same, keep it tied into each other, we're going to use this blue hemp ribbon. And it's just a simple tag pull over. And there you have it. This is, as I said, and will be a, a living, breathing thing. I plan on giving it to my granddaughter and I'm sure once she's done with it, it will have all kinds of things uh, modified and uh, arranged. So I don't expect that it's gonna stay the same that it is. Okay, so here on the tag, I decided to use uh, a little trick. You see how I did that? I cut her out. She's a little fussy cut figure. I uh, glued only the bottom. It's a fun little trick you can do. And you stick that uh, postcard in there and it's not gonna go anywhere. For some reason, it either hicks onto, hooks onto that glue and it stays right there. So you don't have to put a lot of glue, you just put one up, uh, over the bottom of the little girl and boom, you're done. And I found a place to put our little uh, fuzzy cut tag, little girl. And it's just all coming together because we're staying within the same color scheme. We're staying within the same um, girl. Now we have a little pocket mat and uh, it will have a, a very simple opening. Just take a piece of paper, make it uh, the same size as the pocket that it's going into. We had a little bit of trouble there. It's a little bit too big. So we just cut it down a little bit. No big deal, right? And then we're going to uh, kind of make a trick here because uh, I don't want it to go too far in. I want it to specifically go in enough only to hide my little mistake on the background. <laughs> so I'm going to use some washi tape and I'm going to create a stopgap. So first I tape it down onto my glass mat 
and I use the grid lines there to make sure that my line is straight. There's my washi tape, nice and straight. And then we're gonna put a ribbon. We're just gonna put a ribbon there and that ribbon will stop my little photo mat from going in any further. You see that little trick? <laughs> so now it is uh, framed by my blue paint and not by the mess that's behind it. <laughs> and then I took my little fishies because this is little fishies and we're gonna make some more embellishments. This is with that scallop heart again. And we're gonna enhance it with some Tombow uh, water markers just to uh, fill in the fishies because you know, it is a stamp, it needs to be colored. But um, what I did is I put a little um, mat uh, on it. It's that uh, liquid mat so that I could color it and made it a non-porous surface. I'll put a picture and a link to the um, gel mat that I used. And that's just so I can color without it soaking in too soon. And then I use this glitter pen to move the color around. See how that works? So before the ink can dry, I use my wet glitter uh, pen to move the ink and fill in the fish without making it too dark. So we're just highlighting it, as you can see. Okay, so there you go. That flap is done. That book is in. <laughs> we're getting a little bit big for our britches, but we don't care because it's uh, full sail ahead. I need some more paper. I go back to my paper pack and... Uh, as you can see, there is just so many choices. They are endless. But I wanna stay with that color scheme and it's working out for me. <laughs> but I can't wait to open that uh, package again. So here we go, another photo mat. Or actually, this is gonna be a journaling book. No papers, just somewhere for the end to where you could stick something in but also uh, have with you. And that's it, it's as simple as that, but I decide that we're going to have to enhance it again to tie everything together. We're gonna to get our crab and our fishes and we're just gonna to go to town. So we're putting the postcard on the front flap this time. So that will enhance it, make it tie a little uh, booklet. And we're gonna put our fishies on there. And we will be coloring them in as well. Even our little postal crab will be kind of enhancing him with a little extra ink on his body so that you can see what it is, because I don't think you can really tell until you do that. Again, this one is a little smoother, so I didn't have to put the gel mat on it, and I got my uh, glitter pen right away, and as you can see, the ink is actually moving much better on this postcard, as I said, because it's a nice, smooth um, surface, and as you can tell, uh, they are enhanced, but they're not colored in, which I really didn't want to do. We're just putting a little color in there so you can see what it is, and it uh, has a life of its own. It doesn't kind of get lost in everything. But one thing you can't see is the glitter that the glitter glue is laying down. We can't have a crab all glittery and not our fishies. <laughs> and then when you're done, you just kind of um, write it off to the side so you can get any glitter off the regular pen and you get any color off the glitter pen. So I'm just gonna make a photo mat for the inside. Again, I think I'm gonna make a uh, pocket on this as well. Uh, I can't, I can't help it. I love pockets. <laughs> so we're gonna finish it off on the inside. This one I decided to keep square because you know, you can't have everything the same. And again, we're still using the same trick, making it a little bit smaller, putting in our little notch and boom, you have a file. But this time I decided I wanted to make sure that there would be something behind our little notch. There you go. So you can't tell, it's kind of a secret. No one will know but you. <laughs> but anyway, again, only the three sides, leaving the notch area open. And put it down really good with your bone folder, check the opening, and the other side, just tape it down because that's for a little picture or whatever your heart desires. And we're gonna put a little extra tchotchke right there. That's one of those fussy cut things. We used everything. I'm telling you, I had so few scraps. Uh, I've never had that happen before. So I'm taking one of these postcards and this time it's gonna be a tag all on its own. Put a little hole there, put a little hemp ribbon in and you're done. And like I said, it's not gonna go anywhere, but <laughs> who's done? Never. We have to put a little crab on there. <laughs> Again, it just makes everything tie together and why not? Here's a little thing that I tried to do. It's one of those, I'm leaving it in just so you can see that sometimes, this was a four hour uh, video that I put down to 30 minutes. I don't know how I did it, but I did. 
but this was a lot of fun. It's a labor of love. It's something that you do because you know who you're giving it to. And even though I made that little tchotchke with our little girl on her heart, and she didn't come out exactly the way I wanted her to, no matter. We're going to go ahead and use her because the effort and the time and the love that was put into it at the time that it was being created doesn't mean that it's not a Michelangelo. We'll do this, right? And I have a little girl who I know will appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so that's our little postcard, and we're going to put in our little fish, and we're going to put in our little par avion, and everything is good to go. Or is it? Is she done yet? <laughs> I kept asking myself as I was going along, when am I going to say enough? Nope, I found something else. And this is a little pocket feature I have had forever in my stash. And it is the good luck or the bad luck that it is in the color scheme that I needed. So we added her in just to give it a little bit of flavor, a little more than just travel. Uh, there are times when we go somewhere and we take a uh, left turn instead of a right, and this is our left turn. And this has a little, they call it a decoupage, but we call it just a topper, right? To give it a three-dimensional look. And we're going to reorganize everything now. Since we are filled to the brim, and she doesn't know if she's even going to stop, I've decided to reorganize everything. And our first little booklet, our little um, passport booklet, is now um, glued into the third panel. There you see. She will be there forever. She can't be moved anymore. And then one more postcard, one more photo mat for the back flap. I found that I was, I was one short. So I went ahead and created another one. I was not happy with my um, shading though because the color was so light. The shading became so uh, pronounced, but there was nothing I could do with it. Just went with it and said, we'll stay there. And we have our little decoupage girl and I decided one more. Here's that little trick, remember? Just put one uh, line of glue on the bottom, find a tag, we're gonna create a little tag and she's going to fit right into that little nook. It's not a pocket, it's just a little nook. And I love it because it's just one little line of glue and it's not going anywhere. But it looks so adorable, you just wanna keep putting it in and taking it out, putting it in and taking it out. Oh guys, this is a long one. So that's really it. Now you're just going to watch me kind of reorg again, put everything together, uh, make my, uh, my last photo mat slash journal booklet and on to the end, which is in the beginning. We will end at the front panel. We will end with the beginning. And that would be to add our little girl who we brought in last minute and make her a part of of the entire book by putting her on the front panel and making sure that her presence is felt in the other areas of our mini album slash journal. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy maybe making one. I hope I inspired you to at least take it on. Um, I will tell you that I haven't made one in so long and I never, never sat down and finished one straight through. I normally, um, you know, do one, go back to it after a few days. But this one, I decided I was going to stay right with it. Oh, that, I tore that little corner thing. But you know what? Never say die. I just went ahead and used it, and you can't tell that I tore it. So never say die. And my last little addition is this little tag that says friends. And I think in the end, it all tied together because this book is about friends and I know my granddaughter is going to absolutely love this because it will be about her and her friends and her adventures out in the land of water in the biggest continent floating in the Pacific or whatever ocean that is okay these are just a few more embellishments I got some uh, fashion paper clips put those in there and uh, that will give her something to use uh, should she need it or not, but it looks pretty either way for now guys. I've been gone for a while. I hope you've, I hope you, uh, forgive me. I wanted you to see this start to finish. Um, I'm only going to be in and out for the next few months. Things have gotten a little bit hectic for me and, uh, I've got to fight that little battle I've been fighting a long time now, but I'll see you soon because we never say die. We keep going. Take care, and I will see you very, very soon. 
Don't forget that color. It's out there. Grab it. I love you guys. Bye for now. For those of you who hung around, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what my next video is going to be. I'm going to be working on my uh, craft fair series, and guess what the first thing is going to be? You tell me. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving again, so if you stuck around, you got to see it. So take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.